Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to Let's Play Chronicon. Last episode, we went in with our warden um, just to uh, get a few things done. This episode, we're going to go back in as our Templar and uh, see what we can do. Just go to... Hmm. I was gonna say, I just gonna make sure that there was nothing in my warden's inventory that I, you know, maybe wanted to take out and put into the, uh, the main, uh, yeah, the, the shared stash or anything like that. I, I don't think there is. So, <laughs> the first thing we're gonna do is I am gonna go to the expedition tree. And I'm gonna spend some money. Um, uh, <coughs> how much money? Well... Um, I need to find the nodes that are important. Okay, uh, this is Mythic 4. Um, you know what? Since I already started buying these nodes, let's just uh, uh, buy the rest of these. Max them out. Bit of, a, bit of a waste of uh, money, potentially, but it would bother me if things were not, you know, symmetrical. Also, the end nodes, I think we were missing one of them, you know, the one that gives us a bonus to all of our minor stats. So let's go ahead and get the final one, I think, it is up here. A bit more experience. Should I spend three million to get more experience gained, or should I not? Uh, well, let's let's leave it for now. Um, pull down reduction could be good. Uh, that's quite a bit of money, though. Um, Smite and Holy Bolt, Holy Damage, there is so much to, uh, so much, hang on, let me just check one thing, okay, ever since we had that thing last episode where the volume got cut off, I'm gonna be a bit paranoid for a bit, just checking sure, uh, just checking to make sure that the volume is, uh, uh, that the sound is being recorded properly. All right. Uh, okay. I mean, at, at some point, I've, I've just got to. I've just got to do something. All right. Uh, what I'm gonna do is. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is. Uh, so. I think that I think that I've been slightly misunderstanding how my ultimate skill works and I think I want to man there's, there's so much to do I'm having choice paralysis um, um First of all, I think let's get the skill thing looked at. So, let's go to Edit Skills and Masteries, and let's go to our main thing, the Wrath, uh, the Wrath Tree, and let's take a look at the the uh, description. So, it says that the companions use certain skills: Lightning Blade, Thunder Blade, Discharge. And if we look at the alternate version of that, the other uh, versions of those companions will use different skills. I thought this meant that we had to have these skills unlocked ourselves. Um, however... Lightning Blade... 
magnetic field and revert. I believe that you indeed do not have to have your own skills maxed out in order for or like your own skills needed in order to uh, have your companions be able to use them so lightning blade is just a basic attack uh, if I Uh, I can take points out of that if then I, it allows me to put points into something else. Blade overload can be swapped with the magnetic field, magnetic orb. And I think that was one of the uh, skills as well, right? Magnetic field is there as well. See, we're not even... Alright. Magnetic field. So, okay, before I make any changes, I just want to see... Are my companions using these skills on their own? So magnetic blades, we have it on this button, but they are... I'm So w when I go into an anomaly this time, I am just going to not do anything, and I'm just going to take a look purely at what my companions are doing. All right. Um, I also... Okay, I also need to grab something. Uh, I need to grab my quadruplets accessory because I'm going to do something a bit... Uh, I'm going to change up my build a little bit. I'm also going to go and grab the cosmic cape because there are two ways to do this. I can either uh, extract the uh, power from the cosmic cape and put it on the quadruplet accessory, or I can take the uh, power from the accessory and put it, uh, sorry, from the quadruplets and put it on the cape. The thing you have to look at is the dark orange thing is what gets extracted and put. So the way to look at it is there's also a light orange enchantment which is bound to that item but which will not also then get extracted. So the light orange enchantment for quadruplets is just uh, some uh, percentage to all elements. This one gives us more mana. I think ultimately we will want more mana if we are then using our mana to uh, um, boost our damage. So what I'll do is I will uh, I will equip this and our uh, skulls are all gone. I guess I could have used either of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remind myself what the uh, What's the, uh... Yeah, create a greater rune, alright. And we're gonna need a blank rune stone as well, alright, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the blank rune stone, let me just... Grab this, and let's extract this power 
I'm gonna need some of these as well, and this should do it. Okay, now we've got the quadruplets. I might not use the quadruplets. I might I, I get something else. Because it might turn out that it's only our companions that are doing, you know, the bulk of the damage. But for now, I don't have anything better. Uh, you know, so I'll stick with this. And now I want to apply it. And, like, it's also taking up a greater rune slot, which is the other thing that's making me worried. But for now, let's let's stay with this. For now, for now let's, uh... Go ahead and apply, uh... Uh, Cosmic Cape. Crowns, and... This. A greater rune should get applied. There we go. And it's used up another one of our slots. As you can see, it went from two to three. Now I'm going to go to uh, the enchantment. And I am going to... Uh, augment my quadruplets. First of all, let me just see... I'm going to augment my quadruplets and also the uh, the main enchantment. So, uh, left trigger to augment max. Just take it all the way. 70% of maximum damage, uh, maximum mana converted into damage. I'm going to augment the quadruplets. I'm going to augment the uh, thing that's giving us more mana. And how much mana do we have? How much has that raised our damage? Let me go here. Does will it, will that show up here? I think it. I mean, this shows a percentage thing, but our own damage I th think has also gone up. There, there's no way to tell at this point whether that's actually making a change. The other thing that I was thinking is we could get the uh, um, Ring of Pure Energies. We've got a, a few of those. Extract that. And then it'll raise our maximum mana by even more, giving us even more damage. But let's hold on, hold off from that for a second, and let's uh, go into uh, just a endless dungeon anomaly. Mythic fifteen. No, let's go to a regular dungeon anomaly, and. Mythic 10 uh, might be a bit much, but let's, let's just see how uh, this goes. Are they killing things quickly? Are they killing things at all? Um, it doesn't look like they are, and in fact we are getting killed pretty awfully as well. So Mythic 10 is... Uh, I mean, we're somehow uh, we're somehow getting through it, and also it does look like our uh, creatures are using abilities, even if I'm not using them myself. Right, I had already s suspected this, but it is now, <coughs> excuse me, it is now confirmed. It is now confirmed. So I just have to 
stand way the heck back. And ooh, not even let trash mobs come near me, because otherwise we are probably going to get killed pretty horribly. Alright, keep on going. The other, like, the other thing I'm questioning is, where is my additional defense going to come from? Because to really survive in higher level anomalies, we are going to need... We are going to need uh, uh, defenses that are much more solid than what we have right now. And honestly, if I'm being real with you guys, I I genuinely I genuinely don't know. But for now, uh, it's at least heartening to see that we are uh, um, getting through on Mythic 10, which again is better than where we started at. And I, have, um, I haven't used any of my skills. I have just been... Uh, I have just been hanging back, watching my guys do their thing. Alright. Honestly, this, <laughs> this feels kind of good. Kind of dangerous, but... The fact that we're able to do it, I think, is uh, encouraging. Obviously, we are gonna need even more offense if we really want to push things to the next level. So I'm thinking maybe we try and uh, get some more value out of our ooh, oh my god, out of our uh, you know, that condemnation uh, that convictions, like whatever that synergy was that we had uh, the, the wrathful conviction synergy Alright, this is gonna take ages. I, like, do I even want to go all the way through this anomaly? I, I, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say yes. Alright, alright, alright. I'm just gonna run uh, through. Easy does it. Oh, there's one other thing, um, and this I'll mention when we uh, uh, get back home. Which is, oh my god, we're fucked. That was actually genuinely frightening. <laughs> A gigantic spider just rushing at you. Alright. Which is, I think. I think we can get our uh, mythic weapon. I think we ca I think we can go to the Hellforge and upgrade it. I didn't think we had the materials, but when I was uh, looking through with my warden uh, in the uh, stash tab where I keep all my materials, I noticed that we do have the materials. So somehow we picked them up, and I didn't realize. All right. It's definitely slow killing things, but but uh, we're uh, we're doing it. It's it's happening.
All right. Obviously, the more oh my god, the more uh, mastery points we get, th the more we can like incrementally make our build stronger. But making your build stronger that way is not a substitute for having a strong build. All it will do is take a build that's already strong, and then you'll you'll kill things sli slightly quicker. Easy. You'll kill things slightly quicker. But it's not going to take a build that wasn't great and turn it into a good build. That is only going to happen through uh, you know, having a strong build to begin with. Right. Close to the exit. Also close to getting the 100%. Portal has unlocked, but rather than just rushing at it blindly, I'm going to make sure that the path is relatively open. Oh, yep, a lot of things. Let's, uh, oh, 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 let's take a step back because we are taking damage. Don't want to go too far back because there are enemies behind us as well. All right. And now I think we can run. Oh my god, no. Oh, 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 that was a horrible horrible idea, but got through it. All right. Once again, the exit not that far away. All right. So this is kind of a dry run for doing an elite uh, dungeon on Mythic 10. But I think I'll wait a while, because on uh, the elite dungeon, if you die, then you have to start again from the, uh, from the beginning. So before I do that, I'm going to want to make sure that I have slightly better defense and better offense. Like, we kill things quicker, and if we do get hit, we don't... Im like like this exactly like that we don't immediately just die if we get hit which uh is difficult to guarantee when you are so squishy These crystals that are flying towards me as I'm collecting them, uh, that's making me nervous because it kind of makes me think that uh, these are shots that enemies are firing. Oh my goodness me. Oh! Yeah, see... Some of these uh, shots are not really... Uh, possible to dodge. Some of these shots are... Uh, it gives you no time to react. It'll fill... Like, there, there, there will be no safe spot for you to stand on. And uh, at the end of it all, you either have the defense to tank the hit, or you die. And in this case, some of them were able to tank, some of them are killing us, without really giving us a chance. So, uh... That's, uh... That's a bit of a... That's that's what we're, uh, What we are dealing with. Portal has opened. We're not that far from the portal. But we're gonna have to easy. We're gonna have to get to it slowly. And then the boss fight is gonna be a whole other thing. And I believe if we die during the boss fight, even on a regular dungeon anomaly, it'll 
uh, throw us out and not let us complete it. So we're gonna have to just, like stay the hell away from this boss. Easy, oh, easy, yeah. You see, sometimes we just take random shots from random enemies, and uh, we gotta gotta be constantly vigilant about things like that. All right. Another thing we have to do is we've gotta set up some elixirs. Oh, but before I do that, I gotta. Before I do anything with elixirs, I've got to uh, get my Mark IV, uh, you know, elixir injectors. All right, we 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 were able to kill the boss, which I am very happy about. And let's go back to the hub area and do some selling. All right, there are lots of things we need to do to make our build more ro robust. Uh, I'm not really using that. This is interesting. It's a legendary thing that we could extract and put on our amulet. That's something to consider. Ooh, and we, we found one of these as well. Alright, uh... That uh, is gonna go into the uh, old... Uh, stash. Let me do some... Moving around. Alright. Let me go to my masteries and... Uh, do some spending. Um, what was I going to get? Harmful effects. And damage reduction. So and just get 5% damage reduction. Should be great. Overpower I once again, we'll wait until we have 25 points so that we can dump all of them at once. Alright, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my... Uh, the, the, this tree. Expulsion. Now, what is, what is expulsion? Here is expulsion. Mmm, that's interesting. So this will make thorns actually useful. Interesting. All right, but so we need uh, thirty-four points. How many points do we have in total? Um, so we have seventy-one points plus twenty-nine. We we only have a hundred points to work with. So.
Huh. Is the, hmm, I'm a... I... You know what, first of all, let's go to the... Before... Hang on, let me... Let me do something. Let me go to the... Transmutation... We're going to transmute recipes. Okay, no. Um, I what I need is how do we get the uh, Mark IV elixir that my warden was using? Let me just. In injector recipe. Mark for Mark three enhanced injector plus a rapid injector, All right? Potion injector isn't going to work. So, do we have that in here? Enhanced. And rapid, okay. But we're gonna need one more rapid injector. You know what? Let's let's wait until we have that. First of all, let's. Oh my God! Oh. We we are safe in the hub area. Nothing's gonna kill us. Let's get our mythic weapon now. Let's take our ancient blade and the ancient hilt. I don't know when we found the second one of these, but somehow we did. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go to the Hellforge. I don't know if we're going to get some more dialogue. Maybe we might. So I think what we have to do is Ancient Blade, Ancient Hilt, and our uh, weapon. I, I definitely want to keep this weapon. Is this going to be enough? Or do we have to p throw down some crowns as well? Uh, okay, how does... Uh, what is the recipe? Oh yeah, oh, we're missing the other uh, materials. Right, 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 right. I forgot that those exist. Let's... <laughs> Grab that, that there's so much to do, so little time. So we have to. We have to grab these. And then that'll do it. And, uh. So. Ancient Blade, Ancient Hilt. And now our weapon. There we go. And we've upgraded our weapon to a mythical weapon. So good job to us. Now, what does it mean for it to be a mythical weapon? Well, it's increased its base stats by quite a lot. And... Uh, It's given it the capacity to have two runes uh, put on it. So we're going to have to figure out what sort of runes we want to add. But for now, first of all, let me just check how long we've been going. 34 minutes, not that long. For now, though, we just want to first of all put all of our stuff back. Uh, what? Do we... Uh, 
Okay, all of them are there. For, for some reason, I thought I was missing something. We're missing the, uh, the materials that we just used. We only had one each of them, so... Makes sense that they would, uh, eventually go away. All right. Now, what I want to do is, uh... I want to go to the Enchantress. Enchant... Cape... Hang on. Let's see, like, how do I... I, I want to... Swap one of the enchantments with a different kind. But if I press the wrong thing, then it'll lock that enchantment to something else. to re-roll hang on is it transmutation or is it enchant it's it's definitely the transmutation but I want to make sure I don't do the wrong thing you know what let's experiment with uh, something that we don't care about like the, like this I item so yeah, let's take this. So what happens if we re-roll? Like, like the shadow resistance affix. Okay, it doesn't lock it if we re-roll. But then how do we... Oh, I accidentally pressed Y and locked it in place. Is it transmutation? No, it's got to be uh, from the Enchantress. Oh, scramble item. All right, okay. Right, um... All right. Right. Okay. Now I I get it. All right. Now we go back to the enchantress with the item that we wanted to uh, mess around with. This one. So we're keeping that. We're keeping that. Fire damage we can live without. Mana regeneration we can live without. Pick up strength we can live without. Increased effect of all gems is something we can uh, something we can uh, live with. Oh, right trigger now to sh show the uh, the codex. So. What minor enchantments do we want? What major enchantments do we want? Minor... Uh, companion damage, maybe? Companion health? Companion damage? Major... Um, movement speed? Or mana? So, there are two enchantments that we could get. Alright, let's, uh, let's d decide what we want. Resist all could be good. So let's go with... I, I think we have enough movement speed, alright? Let's go with resist all. And
and overpower. Yeah, let's go with resist all and overpower. If if we fuck this up and if we decide we want another one, we're just gonna have to find another uh, uh, instance of this item, which shouldn't be that hard. But obviously, you'd rather not fuck it up, right? All right. So let's uh, scramble the item. What do we get? Jam strength. Health regen, don't like it. Health. Overpower, alright. Let's keep overpower. Um, hang on, first of all, let me check something. So, monster resistance never goes above 90%. So, overpower, which I think... Hang on. Let me confirm this is how it works. Uh, I think Chronicon... Like, is overpower just reducing enemy resistance? So, what is overpower? So... Here we go. A resistance piercing, alright? So how does this work? What? Oh. So is overpower... of 100% possible, or is it capped at something? That's the main thing that I want to... Uh, I want to see. Well, if whether or, let me see how much overpower do we have currently? Eight percent, and that's from what we just got. Okay, and that's and that's from what we just got. All right. So let's let's keep that eight percent, and let's take it all the way to the max which took it to 22 and now it's locked and now what was the other thing that we wanted uh, resist all I believe And what do we want on our companion damage, maybe? And... Pick up radius? Nah. Maybe just experience? Yeah, okay, so let's uh, scramble. Well, I mean, we have companion health, but I want companion... Should we just keep companion health, companion damage? Uh, yeah, why not? Um, sure, let's... Yeah, let's just do companion health and companion damage. <laughs> I, I could tell just by watching the radius get bigger that we'd gotten this enchantment. And obviously I could tell that we've lost it. All right. All right. Gem strength. Maybe, like, gem strength could be a thing. But not... Here we go, companion damage. Uh, let's... Left trigger. Take it all the way to 50. And now, what did I want for this? I wanted resist all. Yeah, there we go. And we have 20% resists, which... 
it's pretty good. All right, next. Um, I think we're just gonna go Mythic Eleven. Are we that brazen that we're just gonna go into Mythic Eleven? I think we are. I think we're a bunch of lunatics who don't know what's good for us. Easy does it. Oh, 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 don't get too close to them. All right. Okay. Um, gotta be careful. Okay. Okay, everybody just relax. Alright, we're, we're getting we're getting through. We're getting through somehow. Oh uh oh, oh do have to actually pay attention to uh, what enemies are doing. It's not a it's not a cakewalk anymore. If we want it to be a cakewalk, we can uh, bring the uh, difficulty down, but, you know, we don't want to do that. Saving up uh, 25 mastery points as well. Because uh, for those mastery nodes, I just like to dump all the points into them in one go. Just because I, I, I like it that way. Oh, 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 easy. Everybody just needs to chill. I don't even know what hit me. Don't even know what hit me, but it was uh, one of those named creatures. <coughs> I wish it would tell you what the affixes were on the enemy that killed you. Maybe it, there's a way to do that, and uh, I just don't know how to do it. Because then that way you would learn which creatures uh, you need to avoid. And unlike Diablo 2 where, you know, rare monsters just had random names, in this game I do believe the name of the monster does indicate what kind of uh, abilities it has. So you are Like, even if you aren't able to read the full list of affixes, just by its name, you'd be able to decide whether it's something you uh, are comfortable being close to, or if it's something that you need to maybe keep your distance from. Alright. It's important for us to not get killed because then we don't get credited for our kill streaks and then we're losing out on a lot of uh, experience that way the crystals as well but obviously crystals are uh, less uh, less relevant right now because we've got you know like 400 million and you know why why am I killing these guys when I should just be going forward? Easy. Okay.
one thing I'm not sure about, like... Does... Me putting points into my skills and making them stronger, does that make those skills stronger for... My summoned creatures? Or can I simply take all of those skill points out and put them into something else entirely? In fact, hang on, there's no reason we can't, like, test this, because we, we can leave this anomaly. And we can go to Tinka. What I want to do is I'm going to go to Edit. Ooh, we can just straight up swap in builds, which is uh, very cool. So you wouldn't need to create a whole different character if you wanted to have a different loadout. That, that's really cool. Really, really cool. So, like, we don't really need... We don't really need this. I Like, does this apply to them, or does it not? Okay, so let's... Just remove this entirely. Are they still gonna have um what, what are you talking about? Oh the Hellforge. She's talking to us about the fact that we forged our weapon, that's good. Are they gonna use that skill now? That they they still are, despite the fact that we uh, we we took it off. And that then leads me to suspect that maybe they don't. Okay, so <laughs> in the middle of this anomaly, let's go ahead and change our build. All right. So then let's put some points into um, triggering expulsion. We're not going to be wearing a tome. Molten steel. Um, like what, what sort of passives can we even put points into? Because I need to spend five more points to get this. Ooh, like maybe they're just just like the base skill. Whatever. Let, let, let's put five points into Cinder Blast. And that opens up this. Then... Where the fuck is... Ex okay, we need to spend 14 points. Okay. So we can get some basic skills. Potion... I don't know. I don't really care about potions. Pick up radius. Uh, fine. Reach. I mean, reach is okay as well. Potions, do I... I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. But let's go back to Tenka. Because I want to get Expulsion. I want to see if that makes any sort of a difference. So we got rid of this skill. What else? What other skills do we want to completely get rid of? 
Fulmination, which we are simply not using anymore. <coughs> and I don't think any of our uh, guys are using Fulmination. Okay, so we can just get rid of this entire... We just get rid of that entire thing, and uh, I guess I guess we will get potion effect. Why can't I select that? Oh oh oh! Because uh, I, I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong screen. Here we go. You know, what, let's just put. There we go. One point. Let's get reach. How far are we from getting expulsion? We're probably not going to get this because there simply aren't enough points in total. We need 34 in one tree. 34 in the other tree, and then this is not gonna leave us with enough points to get that. I guess we've got potion effectiveness. Grace could be an interesting idea. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just... Because we're not really going to be using a tome. So I'll just get the other... Uh, put five points into the basic skill. And you know what? Put three points into expulsion and we got to <laughs> take one more point out from somewhere. Not from here, from here. Uh, we definitely need to keep this. We don't need mana uh, regeneration. So, take these three points out and put them... I mean, I put that there, and, uh, I mean, I guess there's no reason not to put points into grace to get a barrier, but for now, I'll just leave those points unspent. And now, let's actually go and finish this anomaly. Oh, yeah, I like the, I like the good pickup radius. Are we killing things quicker? Well, these are, like, really tanky enemies. So those might not be the best ones to... Try it again, because they do have, uh, extra... Oh! They do have extra health. I was getting really close to them because I wanted to read their affixes, and now I, uh... Got a bit too carried away. All right, we need to just we need to finish this anomaly. The other thing is, like, if we are gonna just die in one hit, then. Should I just give up on uh, defense entirely? And should I just be a pure glass cannon? Like, should I get rid, rid of the uh, lifeguard 
um, the rune that we have on our helmet. Should have put something offensive in its place. Should have just get rid of the uh, the f full set bonus. Should have just go with the three set bonus. And uh, I don't. Know. I feel like there are too many instances like stuff like this, where you can just take a bit of chip damage, and if you're a glass cannon, then that's all it takes to to kill you. So. Uh, That's uh, something to think about. I, I don't like these enemies. They're too tanky. We're getting, we're getting there. I mean, M Mythic Eleven, and we are hanging in there. Clearly, we are moving in the right direction. Clearly, we are moving in the right direction. I feel like this build is gonna cap out and hit a ceiling a lot quicker than uh, our, our warden. I, I Unless there's something drastic that I can do to make a change, I really don't see how this is gonna <laughs> get close to tier 100. But even if it doesn't, that's okay. We can use it to uh, get other stuff done, we can use it to collect all of the, you know, the Templar true legendary items, that kind of thing. The portal has unlocked. Let's just not even mess around. Let's just go. And we are waiting until we save up. Uh, Twenty-five mastery points. We have fourteen so far. All right. Everybody, just calm down. Stay still. Already at 10%. Uh, so the final anomaly floor as well. So easy, relax, guys. Oh, easy. I guess we're not instantly dying <laughs> the moment we take damage, but. It is uh, going to get harder and harder to sustain any sort of a, uh, survivability uh, the higher we get. Because monster damage is just, just going to keep like drastically going up. Easy. Relax. Hang on, uh, wasn't there a thing on our beast where effects that happened on kill now happen on hit instead? Then couldn't we use that to get the on kill expulsion to trigger on hit? And if we did that, would that improve damage? That's something I think we'll uh, experiment with next episode. For now, I'm just focused on staying alive. And uh, converting some of these kill streaks into actual experience. Got 17 points, 
which is wonderful. And didn't we have a tome? Hang on. Our uh, tome of condemnation. Does that is is that going to make a difference? Is that going to make a difference? Again, something I think that we'll uh, mess around with next episode. For now, though, I think we are just going to uh, get to this boss and uh, hopefully, hopefully not get killed. And, uh, alright, it's unfortunate, I was hoping to get a bit more kill streak going, but let's just go. Yeah, I know, I know, there, there were chests that I could have opened. Oh, this is, a uh, very nerve-wracking. Please don't summon anything on top of me. Oh, 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 exactly, that's, that's exactly what I told you not to do. Okay. Ooh, you took us uh, directly to rank 24. Now I'm tempted to, uh, you know what, let's do a greater boss anomaly pretty quickly. Yeah. Let's just do a quick one of these. Okay, this could take a while. I don't like this because this is very dangerous. We could get killed inside. Yeah, we're going to have to go through another one of these phases. Uh, okay, we just got to make sure that there's a s section of the map that's relatively safe. And then we go back out. All right. One more cycle is probably unavoidable. Oh no, we killed her. We killed her. Oh, that didn't even level us up? Man, that sucks. Uh, let, let's, let's do one more. I uh, know I would prefer doing one of the ones that don't have phases. So... Yeah, okay, this one's... Oh, uh, this one kind of does have phases as well. Yeah, let's... Uh, not this one, come on. Just give me one. I just want to... Oh, wait, no, I, I've been reading it wrong. We have 28 points. I thought we had 24 points. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this into overpower. All right. And now uh, thorns, bleed damage. I think experience is going to be the best thing to get there. Now that we'll get next episode. All right, and now let me see how long we've been going for. An hour and ten, yeah. It's time to bring things to an end before we do... Okay, we've got some stuff to sell as well. Okay, good. Let's just get all of this done. Valkyrie Blade. Thundering whatever. Hmm... 
Uh, yeah, I was holding on to that. So, Tome of Condemnation. What does this say? That? Okay, this... If I'm understanding it correctly, every time Ember triggers, then it doubles the damage of Condemnation. So we could apply this. I think we could apply it to our shield. Don't really need heat wall. Don't really need that. Or this. And I think we gotta get rid of this. Don't really need that. What was I holding on to this? Okay, oh, yeah, cause I thought maybe we could do some sort of a crit based thing, but I don't... I don't even think I fully understand what I mean look at that that is a that is an entire paragraph just to explain that one enchantment um I don't think we have enough time in this episode to try and parse what that is trying to say what we will do is though we will just uh, sort like this we're going to go to our personal stash uh we'll hold on to that just cuz it's one of the few uh, Templar true legendaries we found. But I'll drop in this and the Tome of Condemnation just so that I know we have uh, these items here and that I don't accidentally sell them. And let me just sell these things. Alright. And now I think we're going to reflect on what we accomplished this episode. We came in with a lot of help from uh, the previous episode from our warden. From uh, basically our... Uh, like, we did not earn these 400 million crystals with this character. This was given to us basically by our rich relative, you know, the other character from the previous series, just helping us out. We needed it just to give us a bit of a leg up, especially in the expedition tree. Um, we didn't spend a lot of it, we just spent a bit of it. I'll spend more of it next episode. More importantly, the... Uh, our uh, aforementioned rich relative also gave us a bunch of uh, other things uh, to play around with. Notably, we used one of the extra quadruplets that we had been given, combined it with the cosmic cape that we already have, that, that she also found, so, you know, by she I mean uh, the warden, so already most of what we have right now is due to her. Um, but this gave us a bit of a damage buff, uh, buff? A damage buff. And, uh... I'm still not sure if quadruplets are actually doing anything for us. If they're not, we can get rid of them, but I just feel like it would feel a bit lonely if we got rid of them, you know? It, it's a companion-based build. We might have to, we'll see. If I'll, I'll see what else we can put on the accessory, maybe there's something awesome. We'll uh, have to uh, think about that in 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 due time. Oh yeah, we also upgraded our uh, sword. It is now a mythical sword, which means it has fantastic stats. And there's a couple of things we could do. We can get more companion damage out of this one. In fact, we can we we're getting companion damage out of all of our well, no, companion health and damage out of our uh, um, set items. So that's something uh, that we're going to have to figure out. All right, but yes. So we upgraded our mythical weapon. We beat a uh, an anomaly on M Mythic 11 and... I think next episode, what we're gonna try? No, 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 no. 
I hit the wrong thing. I was going to say next episode, I think what we're going to try to do is we are going to try to beat an elite dungeon anomaly on uh, Mythic 10. So for the final skin that we have to unlock, it says we have to beat an elite dungeon anomaly at Mythic 10 or higher. And we've already beaten one on Mythic 11. We died along the way, so that's the thing. I think if we bump it down to Mythic 10, we should have an easier, uh, an easier job. But yeah, there's uh, that. Um, and, you know, that's something to do next episode. Also next episode, we're gonna... Try and figure out what sort of runes we can put on our sword and generally on the rest of our equipment because that's where the rest of our potential power is going to come from. So that's the plan for the future and a recap of what we did this episode. But yes, that is going to be all for this one. I am happy with how we went. We are getting better. Um, and hopefully we'll get even better as uh, things go on. And yep, yeah, we're just—it's just about a—it's just about perseverance and putting together a good build and then hoping that build works. And hopefully we can keep doing that. But yes, that is going to be all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time, and hope you'll join me for the next episode as well. And until then. Take care.